Well, welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to be disassembling the transmission on Alice Chalmers WD. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, stick around because it's coming up. All right, so the last video you saw was the rear end, and we found that we had an issue with the uh, back side of the main shaft in the transmission. I had a, one bearing, if not two bearings, that are bad, uh, which will be right up on the back side of the shaft down in there. Uh, there's actually two bearings, uh, one coming from one side and one the other, uh, that go in there, so we're gonna be replacing all of those. So in order to do that, we have to pull all the gears out of the top side, the main shaft, uh, the input shaft here, um, and then just because of uh, the restoration project on what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, the secondary shaft out, which is the one that's underneath the one we're looking at currently. So step one, we'll get this guy loose. It's just fit in there. The bearing and everything is held in place by the torque tube. Then on the back side, it's up against the snap ring. Um, so we'll work that dude out of here. Um, once that is out, we'll slide around into the back housing. And we've got, I think, six uh, bolts in there to take out. One, two, three, yep. We've got six of those, we'll pull the wire off. We'll take those out. And that's going to just loosen up that input shaft so that we can drive it back this direction for the main shaft. So as we do that, as we drive the shaft, basically the end of it's going to be right in here. As we drive it that way, we will work off each of these gears and the collars and the sleeves that's in there. So even though I've got a manual to tell me uh, what goes where, I want to pull these off. Uh, very carefully and put them back in order over here on my bench and also inspect everything so that's what our uh, process is going to be so let's get started all right so we're going to back up in time just a bit when that rear end came out and look at the input shaft and see what the problem is so that's your input shaft to your transmission the one down there at the bottom is your intermediate shaft that guy right there on the left is the uh, rod that holds your reverse gear and you can see right at the top edge of that reverse gear back in that hole that's your uh, I guess that's your sliding reverse gear so you slide that thing forward it locks it in and then you hit that intermediate shaft and that makes it go the other direction so so I see a pretty major problem here. Um, so what I want you to look at is by that, in the center, kind of the center of the screen, but up a little bit from the middle. See that bolt? And let's see if I this one right here. Now if you look in between where the bearing is, can see a little opening in there. I'm going to spin that input shaft. You can see remnants of a lot of just little shavings. And here, here's the problem. That bearing is busted. Um, let me spin it. You're going to see that some of the they're not balls, they're the cylind cylinder style ones going to see those and it's missing about three or four right there in that black hole. So we'll try to turn this. Okay, see that how it's all open right there? You can see one up there, see that one fall? And then there's another one up there. Now here in a minute what will happen is this thing will get in a bind on me. You can see them up there at the top. Yeah, see that? Man, that's a mess. All right, so we are set up here. First thing, we want to get this input shaft out. I think it might have moved there. Yeah, here we go. Oh, so the gasket is keeping me from seeing. That thing moved. It was moving a little bit, but I couldn't see it. 
that old thing out of there. All right, so like I said, in here is that snap ring that's gonna hold the rest of the gears on the shaft. So I found that and then you just work it out and it's gonna slide out this whole bearing and the whole nine yards, so. So there's the bearing that was fitting in there. I'm gonna slide the rest of that shaft out. So inside here is a needle bearing. Slide it back in there. That rides right there on this shaft. It's dirty in here. I'm really glad all this is coming apart. I know it's a lot of work, but that's got a little dent in it right there. Those bearings roll, but not real, real easy. So I may, uh, I may see what one of these new needle bearings are. How much it cost? Yeah, okay. So now, look how much that moves from that bearing that's bad on the back of this thing. So that's crazy. Step two, we're gonna get this little snap ring out of there. back side here go ahead and pull those uh, six cap screws out and then we'll drive the shaft towards the uh, rear end and that will allow us to slide this off it'll clear this problem is that secondary shaft down there that gear uh, we just can't slide anything past it because it's hanging up on it so All right, once you got that, it loosens up your collar. Now this whole shaft will drive back towards us. part is as we pull it out here all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the gears out um, this collar and the gear that's in the middle so we got a spline collar and a splined coupler right there and that is for third and fourth gear so I'm gonna set that up here on the bench this is a main shaft this is third gear right here I'm just going to slide it out. So 
So inside here is also a little uh, sleeve and they just call that a gear bushing for third. And if you note, there's a little pin in there and that just holds that thing from spinning, you know, around on the shaft here. Thrust washer, it's kind of hiding in there. And then it is the second gear I'm pulling out of here. Um, inside second gear, there's also another one of those spline collars. So I'm gonna slide the, yep, there it went back. All right, so I'm gonna try to pull all that out as a unit. Okay, so you can see now right in there, so we got that thrust washer and that thing is caked in there and on the inside right there that is that spline collar and that one's also got the see the little nub right there all right so that's like so first gear so i'm gonna slide it off that is second this is second and then number 16 Number 16 says spiral gear main shaft second. And then number 15, which is what we got because I've got the shift collar on here. It says uh, spur gear second and reverse. So that makes sense because down here on the side we got sliding reverse and that's going to mate up and it's got worn edges just like this one. All right, so inside of that, we've got number 14 right here. And number 14 is just a spline collar, main shaft, first and second gear. So that one goes inside this one like that. And then let me put that on the bench here slide this thing try to slide it there we go and I got those other gears in the way so I'm gonna have to uh, slide that main shaft on back it might want to drop out of there on me uh, try to work this from the back too Alright, I'm going to go too far so I don't want to get any parts lost. Okay, so inside there's another one of those little sleeves, collars. It's got a little twisted from where it was coming out. Okay, so it's like so, it's got one of the nubs on it. Let's see here, that is going to be number 12 and 13. So that is bushing and first. So that's your intermediate shaft, the one at the bottom. It's left and right up underneath, can't see it, but you can see the remnants of some of that right there. Try to get my light on it just right. It's right there. You'll see here in a second, we pull that shaft. Uh, there's your reverse slider. And it is rounded off. The stuff that's down in there um, is a cleaner, that purple power. I, poured a little bit of that in there to loosen up that old sludge a while ago and just haven't drained it out. So I'm just looking at that intermediate shaft and the gears and they look to be pretty decent shape. But anyway, let's get this, uh, let's flop around here to the back. So 
there's the there's that washer I was just talking about. So that will be facing towards the front. And here's that double double bearing I was talking about. That looks like that'll probably be fun to get off of there. We'll have to work this uh, nut off of there. It's got a couple little tabs that's got it locked in place. So I'll work that off. Uh, just looking at the splines on my shaft, everything was sliding fine on it. They look to be okay. A lot of junk right in the middle of that, that bearing that's got work done in there. Alright. Well, let's uh, set that up on the table for now. So, down here on the front, we should be able to get access to what we need to get to pull that out. So, we'll tear off this gasket. Another one of those snap rings, but this one's a uh, inner, so hopefully it'll be easier to get out. So I believe this will be the same way. We will pull the snap ring. I'll go from the rear housing, and I will drive that shaft forward. All right, so I've already pulled the snap ring off. I double checked in the manual. This shaft you drive out this direction. So I want to move around to the back side there, and I'm going to drive that shaft and bearing out this way and that will give us access to get those gears out. So I'm hardly even touching this thing. I think I can probably pull it now. Make sure we keep this in order. So this gear is gear number 15, and that is counter shaft for first gear, which makes sense because first gear was all the way in the back. And then we got a collar, which is number 13. They just call it a spacer. So we'll put that. Um, I'll go ahead and grab this bearing out of here. I'm gonna put that together on the bench. Our next gear is number eight which is reverse. So right here is the actual reverse gear. This is the reverse sliding gear right there. So your shifting fork will be on that. Put it in reverse, slides it into this guy. All right. So the worn edges were, were towards the back. I'm just curious on that. I mean, if those were cut the same, you know, brand new, why you couldn't just spin that gear around and let it be mating up with this new edge. A little research on that. I kind of like to, I can't tell if that's just worn, which I don't even know how you would machine that. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's just worn. All right, so the worn goes towards the back and then we're gonna have another uh, spacer. It's a smaller one than what we had just a second ago. So it's gonna be on this side, right like that. All right. Okay, what's next? Next gear is number nine. Number nine is second gear. Next gear is number 10. And number 10 is third gear. All right, and then we got another spacer, which is third, number 13. And it's just a spacer on the counter. Chef says there's two of these, so that first one we pulled out will be the same size, I'm sure. And then last but not least is number 11, which is just the gear drive. So uh, this is being driven from our input shaft. 
that we took out first. So it's always moving. I'm just gonna slide the whole shaft out of there. All right, so there is, that's just your counter shaft. And then like I mentioned, your drive gear right there and the cone edge goes towards the back. All right, so that takes care of the counter shaft and our last piece is the reverse sliding gear. Uh, when we looked in the back side there, there's a little um, lock that keeps that shaft in place. All right, we'll go ahead and get that out. It fell off as you saw. Now, let's slide up here. We're gonna go through the, the hole right here. It's kind of down at an angle. shaft will just slide back out of the way and you can slide your gear off I'm inside there I don't have that pulled up there's a little sleeve in there so that's facing forward so your shift collar connections facing towards the front of the tractor and that shaft will come out of there so there it is You can only go in one way. You got that little notch in there. That's where it was locked up. That's where this groove was in that groove to hold it in place. Okay, so that pretty much strips out the tranny. I've got one race down in the bottom to drive out. Um, there's a little snap style ring here to set the depth. I need to pull that dude out as well. And then I'll lift it up with my uh, hoist here the rest of the way. I'll take my hitch off. And then this housing, the bell housing, and the torque tube can be sent to the sandblaster. So we'll continue stripping that thing down and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Hope it was uh, helpful. When we put this thing back together with the new bearings, I'll go back through that uh, process as well so you can see it going back together. But uh, Anyway, that'll stop for now. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Share this video. And leave a comment. Have a good day.